Secretary General uh, uh, Nuriel first, uh, just wanted to ask you, you know, when an incident like this happens and the response is, this is not an act of terrorism, then the question becomes, what, what defines terrorism? People have been attacked in a subway, people have taken arms. It's not just a gas canister, there's been open shooting inside a subway. There seems to be a sense of denial here in New York that this is not an act of terrorism. What defines an act of terrorism then? It is active of terrorism. We believe that any attack against innocent civilian, it is, it is a terrorism and we should uh, take actions in order to prevent it. No doubt that this is a terror event. The reason, the cause, the background is still not yet fully understood by the uh, New York police. Yeah, but you know, uh, let's look at the timing. This happens peak hours, around 8.30. Around 8.30, uh, Lev Aaron, around 8.30 in the morning, right? I, I expect this is nearing peak hours, office time in New York. So the idea is to inflict maximum damage, and there's random shooting. So the ingredients are there of a straightforward terrorist attack out here. What do you think, Lev? I cannot say a lot about New York because I guess that uh, uh, tomorrow we will know much better. But uh, anyway, it, um, it looks like uh, they wanted to kill people for killing people. It was not a robbery. And it caused terror. So in, in this sense, it is terror, no doubt. Absolutely. Uh, Colonel Rich Outson, why, why, why is there this sort of muted reaction? We saw the pictures there, and, and it was frightening. If I can run some full-frame pictures there, viewers, of the moment the, the tr doors of the, of, the, of, the, of the subway were opened, and then there was this gas pouring out, and people were running out helter-skelter all very scared, very frightened. Uh, Colonel Rich, somewhere I, think, uh, somewhere I think there seems to be like underplaying of this incident. Underplaying of this incident, well, isn't it? Unfortunately, in the United States, we have uh, different types of mass shootings. There's strictly criminal mass shootings that we've had at, at some schools, uh, even just last week in Sacramento and California, crime-related mass shootings. And then there's terror-related mass shootings. We don't know motive until we find the shooter. This is what uh, New York police are still calling an active shooter situation. The gunman got away, and they're still looking for him. There are sound judicial reasons, I think, not to characterize it at this point, because there's a different set of actors and laws uh, that kick in, depending on whether it's a, a terror investigation, which could have international connections, for instance, or whether it's strictly uh, domestic criminal. This one sounds an awful lot like terrorism to me. I would agree with, the, uh, with Nitsan uh, and, and uh, our other speakers so far. With the explosive device, the gas mask, and the apparent use of a false flag, you know, a uniform of the MTA, the uh, Metropolitan Transit Authority, it sure looks like this was someone uh, conducting uh, politically motivated terror, but the investigation will have to yield that. I think they're just being prudent rather than downplaying it at this point. Yeah, but, but un, I, I'm told un, undetonated devices were also found. That's what the it, New York fire, uh, you know, Police Department, Fire Department has said in one of the statements. So there's no doubt that there yeah, was... That's right. They said that there are no more unexploded devices, which means that they found, neutralized, and exploded yes. other uh, devices. So it's a very sophisticated attack. Uh, that certainly makes us inclined to think it was terror. Which is, which is, which is, which makes it, which makes it all the more worrying, Adele. You have you have un, unexploded devices in a subway, peak traffic, uh, gas canister aimed at causing confusion, and then random shooting. First, you blind your victims, and then you randomly shoot them, and probably set off an explosion after that. The third did not happen, but if you just see the pictures, Adele. I don't know, what's the response across the U.S. today? I, I feel it's all being played down. I don't know why. Just can't hear you, Adele. Can you unmute yourself, please? Yes. Yes, uh, yes, yes so I can hear you. The, the Thank you. The pictures are horrific. There is blood everywhere. Uh, thank God there were no, uh, no one has died. Of course, I think there was last count about six people in stable um, condition, five more in critical condition, if I'm not mistaken. And of the 16 people injured, 10 of them were actually shot, so, or was five people in critical condition, rather. So uh, I do actually agree with the guests that this is an act of terror, blatant. And the fact that there was, um, as a gentleman previously um, 
pointed out, a sophisticated attack. We don't know if he acted um, by himself or if he had accomplices or anyone else that helped him in this attack. In this attack. Um, we also don't know whether or not he was masked. Um, CCTV, of course, captured the individual, and there are lots of eyewitnesses. So identifying him on um, individual, which I believe, according to several media sources, has been described as a black African-American male. Um, we don't know what his motivation was. I will say that I believe that there, this points to mental health. This, that's probably an element there. But um, I do not doubt that law enforcement will be able to nab this individual and to figure out what the exact motives were. Well, well, and why, why, make this, why, why, why this urgency to make this look like an individual attack in which there is no larger play does not say anything about the law and order situation in, uh, in the United States of America. You know, uh, w w it, this sense of defensiveness. I mean, you know, I don't know why. Why, why don't Americans accept what has happened at home? It's a little...